tiny, tiny advantage there. Should there be a ball hit up the middle where the only play might have been a force play, that possibility has been removed. And the one-two pitch. Figueroa doesn't go two and two. somehow reach Jesus Feliciano is on deck. That's not gonna happen. Let the celebration begin. Nearly 100 players who appeared on Major League rosters in 2012 hailed from the Dominican Republic. In the first decade of the 21st century, counting multiple appearances by individual players, there were 80 All-Star selections from the Dominican Republic. About 25% of Major League players in this era are Latin American. But just about half of those are from one country, and that country is the Dominican Republic. So it was only a matter of time before they won one of these. Nice gesture right here, as competitive as they are. And it started a few weeks ago when Tony Pena had each one of his players stand up in front of the rest of them and say, why are you here? And they all wanted to avenge getting knocked out by the Netherlands in 2009. And boy, they did it in emphatic style. In the course of going 8-0, they outscored their opposition 36 to 14. Well, that's nice to see right there. We saw a nice gesture by Team Japan after they lost coming out of the foul line and bowing to the fans, showing their appreciation. Jim, you go back far enough in the game at the major league level to remember how difficult it was, and there are still some difficulties, but how especially difficult it was for Latin American players with a language barrier and a cultural barrier and relatively few of their brethren on major league rosters, how difficult and lonely and isolated it could be for a player to come from Cuba, from the Dominican Republic, from Panama, Mexico, whatever it might be, to the major leagues from Puerto Rico. Now, there's a decided Latin flavor yes. in the major leagues, and the game is the better for it. And, and I'd have to say in the early days when most of the Cubanos, you know, Papa Joe Cabria, who signed so many of my teammates, Tony Oliva, Zoyal Versailles, there wasn't the compassion. We couldn't understand their language, and, you know, they were kind of isolated in the clubhouse, and there was that threat of their taking the jobs of American players, so they weren't as well accepted. And obviously, and, and for a good reason, that's all changed. Tom Bernucci's down on the field with Jose Reyes. Tom. Jose Reyes, the Dominican Republic, WBC champions, and the first team to go through this tournament undefeated. How does that sound? I mean, this win is gonna go to the whole country of Dominican Republic because they was hungry, waiting for this moment. You know, we did it, Dominican Republic, we did it. Jose, Jose, on the first day, Tony Pena got everybody together, had everybody talk about what this meant to them. What was your response? I mean, you know, we, we are staying together as a team. We have a lot of communication, good chemistry. That's why we win everything. So thanks, God. And like I said before, this week is going to go to the whole Dominican Republic. Thank you, Jose. Congratulations.